So we are going for the vice entry to Bombay Sapras at Kharki, Pune. And uh, the commandant of the centre is an old paratrooper who bust a few bones one day building bridges in the sugar sector and tried to parachute till I kicked him in the ass and said, You'd be like Bombay a ass. Like a and he's not an ass, <laughs> top class fellow. So he's going to go there and I'm going to go there. And I'm sure there'll be many, many Bombay sappers. But one thing is clear. The king is dead, long live the king. The current king will run things as they want and we enjoy it. Thank you very much, sir. Very nice message. Chief, sir, I'd like to ask you a very simple this thing. That since it, this is a special for the Army Day, I would request uh, former Chief Jan Sharma to give a message to the current generation of Army officers. <clears throat> I think the new Army Chief Narabne will give the correct message to his officers. I don't think there's much business of a retired officer giving any message. But i just like to say one thing. Old officers generally feel that the new entrants are not as good as they were, when they were young. That is not true. I think the younger officers today, the people who joined the military, are top class men. They've been born and bred in a free country, which many of us were not. They have got far more knowledge of our culture than we had when we were young. And I'm sure they will do their duty to this country. That's all that's required of them. Discipline and duty are two things which my elder brother Somnath used to teach us. We have to be disciplined, personal discipline, and good discipline in accordance with your service. And whatever your duty, you do it to the best of your ability. That's it. There's no personal equation here. So I'm sure the young officers will do that. That's the message that they require. And our troops are the best in the world, as my brother said, there is no doubt about it, because they are cultured troops. They are religious troops. And they have a great gain to do the best they can for their country. And you know, these officers that come, they lead them very well. They've done excellent work. In Kargil, for instance, the last war, and all the wars. Nothing to complain about. In fact, I think they're far superior to what we were when we were young. If in aviation and defense universe, is extremely grateful to record this video interview of illustrious brothers who the eldest one was the first Parami Chakra of Indian Army, Major Sumna Sharma. I, what I found is that besides being an excellent soldier, they are excellent philosophers of life. Their guiding principles have been from Vedas, from Gita, which is something I think we as Indians must always keep that in the back of our mind because that is the, uh, that is the, what do you call, bottom line of our philosophy of the country, which teaches us tolerance and Vasudev Kutinkan as chief mentioned. Thank you very much, sir. We are honored indeed. This is going to be a historical uh, interview by great soldiers. Thank you, sir. Bless you.